Hi, this is Rishabh Rajan and we're looking at the Summing Tube Amplifier Delay Plugin from Audified and Ask Audio. Let's check out the controls on this delay effect. I'll bypass it first so we can listen to the source material. Okay, now let's listen to it with it turned on. I'll bring in the drums. So a pretty cool sounding delay effect. Now let's look at all the controls. Starting from the left over here, we have a level input. So you can amplify the incoming signal. Or tone it down if it's too loud. I like boosting this, so then the saturation section really comes into play. We'll check that out in a second. Over here you have a tempo control. Right now we can't change it because it's synced, but I can turn off that sync from there. And now I can set my own custom BPM there. I'll set it back to a sync. So now again the dial is not going to move. Another option for setting tempo is to tap in your tempo over here. So I'll get out of sync again and just tap. And you can see the BPM value is being updated. And of course you can fine tune that or even double click and enter in a specific BPM value. All right, next is a DK control. So I can tone this down to a very, very short value. I'll go all the way up to the maximum, which is 20 seconds. Next is intensity dial. So with it down, you'll barely hear any delay. And when it's all the way up, you get maximum delay. Combined with the DK, you can create some really interesting effects. This would sound pretty interesting in a breakdown section. Cool. Next we have this ping pong switch, which is on right now, so we are getting that left-right panning delay effect. I'll just mute the drum so we can hear this better. But if you turn it off, you get a standard panner to pan the delayed signal left or right. Now in ping pong mode, the stereo dial still works. When it's all the way down, you limit your stereo width. And when it's all the way up, you get a really wide left-right panning of the delayed signal. So with the ping pong off, I'm just panning the delayed signal. And with the ping pong on, I get that nice left and right panning. You can command click any dial to reset it back to its default. Now next there's a high pass filter and a low pass filter. So now they're both almost not filtering out the signal. But I can bring up that high pass filter cutoff. And now we're cutting all the lows. Or I can cut all the highs with the low pass filter. Get a more mellow delayed signal. Let's bring in the drums. Now we also have a wet only option. So we're just listening to the delayed signal and not the dry signal here. Now you can really hear the effect of the filtering. All right, next we have this very cool saturation section. You get five different modes and a saturation dial. All right, let's disable the filtering and let's increase the level input here. If you don't drive the input, you're not really going to hear the saturation. So it almost acts like a real tube. There are five different modes. Presence, Vintage, Brown, white 
and lastly lo-fi. The effect can seem subtle, but again it highly depends on your input signal. So make sure to drive that to really hear the saturation. And then next you have control for the meters, so you can decide if you want to view the output or the input on the view meters. There's a bypass switch and also a level output. So you can bring the level output all the way down and crank up the level input and really hear the saturation then. You can hear how that's distorting now. There are a few presets here that you can select from. Let's check out some of them. And of course you can save your own preset. Let's now hear this on a synth part. Let's hear this bypassed first. Okay, now let's turn it on. Alright, so that's the summing tube amplifier delay effect from Audified and Ask Audio. If you want to hear the result of this in the final track, just look for the track name Call Me Maybe by Code Mono on YouTube or SoundCloud and you should be able to find it. You can also get this brand new delay plugin for free from ask.audio right now. <laughs> 